What up? It's Finn Real Moon. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm here today with some Moon Pack members. We just got finished watching the Quiet Place movie. This is our outtake on the movie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my some of my thoughts on it. So anytime one of the Moon Packs feel free to step in, say they peace. You know they will, cause that's what we do in the Moon Pack community. Finn Real Moon. Yeah. All right. So my Outlook on it was the movie. I, I felt like I lost something at the end. Like I was like robbed. Um, certain things in the movie I really didn't didn't make any sense to me. Like one part of the movie, I'm thinking when we was watching the movie, I'm thinking like, why in the world that they don't even have no soundproof? Like why they? I mean, I know it's studios in the world that have soundproof booths and whatnot. Why they not even having that since they can't make a sound? It'll aggro the um, creature and they'll get killed. Then one part of the movie, they have a soundproof room. It's down in the basement. I'm trying to figure out why in the hell they don't have it all over the um house. What's going on with that? There's a lot of stuff in there that didn't make any sense. That's one of the things that I saw that didn't make any sense to me. Like, it's kind of stupid. What I'm trying to figure out is, you coming out the soundproof room. I can't hear in the dead quiet, the water running down into the soundproof room to start to flood it. How the fuck does he not hear that shit? He walks off to go find the kids and leaves the wife and the newborn baby in the in the room that's flooding. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's like, there's a lot of stuff in that movie that didn't make no sense. Like for, for one, when the baby was put down there in the, like I say, soundproof room, wondering why the whole house wasn't soundproof, he put, like some kind of um, how you say oxygen mask on the baby and put the baby in the crib and they put it like um like a lid or like a basically what you call that thing a lid, a lid you can see, yeah a lid over the crib for it can sound for it can um stop the sound for the creature won't hear the sound then yeah. the next thing you know there's no lid and then not even an oxygen mask what the hell happened with that i, I don't know because it won. It it won flooded with water. I mean, it, it, the place was flooding, but it wasn't completely submerged. So I, I don't see how the lid could have washed away. I, I don't know. This is what I don't get. Why in the buttercup are you having babies in this situation in the first place? Oh, exactly. good point. Yeah, good point. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with them? To tell you the truth, because uh -huh. it don't make no sense unless you got a place that's totally secure, soundproof, everything you need. Y'all pretty much already on your way to try to rebuild civilization. I don't I don't really see why you would have children because it's it's not gonna work unless you're totally secure. You know, you you definitely couldn't have children until you had a completely soundproof zone. Cause you, you can't control what the baby's gonna do, so it just seemed really stupid. And in my opinion, I feel like all of them would have been dead a long time ago. And that little boy that died, I don't care. That was that little girl fault. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. They took the toy away from her, took the batteries, you know what I'm saying, out of the toy. She gonna give the toy to the little boy after the parents already showed that, you know, this ain't the right thing to do. And then, well. and of course, the little boy, being a little boy, he gonna put the batteries back in the little machine. <laughs> and, and you know, because he don't totally get what's going on. Oh, no, he don't. He don't totally get what's going on. Yeah, that's that little girl fault. That's, that's totally her fault. That's her fault. And then she was being a little brat the whole time. She's acting like she's she, you know, like she like everything's still all right, you know, like, yeah, I can be upset. I can act crazy. I can, you know, rebel against my parents. I mean, come on. I, I don't even know if that's realistic. Would children even act like that if they grew up in that situation? I don't, I don't that is a good point. I'm not really sure that would children even act like that. And the only I can see if the children would act like that if they was born before that hit. And but. Other than that, that is unrealistic why a kid. That, the whole thing was kind of unrealistic. I mean, you, mm -hmm. the parents, I can see by the parents kind of like a little, a little um, still kind of getting used to it because they kind of like raised up in the world without that type of creatures in there. Mm -hmm. But the kids, the kids should be more hard at heart than, than the parents did because that's what they're raised up in. Even if they were born before this incident, in the beginning of the movie, it looked like that 
it's been a situation for a good while, at least for a few months or mm -hmm. something, something like that. And the kids already knew to be quiet when they're playing around and stuff. So it doesn't make sense that the girl wouldn't be listening to her parents. She should have been gone a long time ago if that was the case. But she's yeah. been rebellious. Now I say and think about it. Excuse me. Now I say and think about it. I think it did say something about four hundred and something days. Was that supposed to be the entire time that all that was going on? I'm not sure if that was that. How long it was till after that last incident, or how long until the time? Uh, I think it was since the boy died. Oh, oh four hundred something days after the little guy died. Yeah. Oh yeah, because okay. the other little boy was pretty grown up at that point. Some I'm guessing they never even revealed when it began. No. So we don't know if the children was already alive or. Or, or born after the mm -hmm. situation. Well, either way, a lot of things in that movie didn't make any damn sense. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a really ungrateful little girl. Yeah. She was really ungrateful. Yeah. Her parents did not raise her well. I, I don't know, but um, <laughs> a lot of people might think I'm wrong for saying this, but that little brat girl, when I thought she was a dying that coin, what you, uh, what you call that thing? Uh, Silo. Silo. That right there, I was like happy. Cause she's such a brat. Wow. She got her brothers killed. Mm. And she treated her parents like they are nobody. And her brother was trying to say, stay here. And then she was like, her dad wasn't coming for her. Mm. It's like, she basically like, and then she supposed to be taking care of her mom. And, but she ended up walking away. See, to me and my definition of family, you be with your family. You take, you be respectful to your parents. I mean, you got, you just call your brother to get killed. Why is you still acting like you, like you're not a part of the family? She was to me. She through the whole film, she was not acting like a part of the family. And then, why would I even feel sad if she about to, um, like die in the movie? I mean, it's, it's a movie. It's a character. I ain't talking about the actual chick. I'm talking about the character. I mean, I'm just expressing my feeling when I was watching the movie. But I'm like, if you don't treat like, I mean, she wasn't treating them like family. Only time I just saw that chick treat her people like family when she gave up, um, when she basically set her brother up to die. That's how I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, she was a selfish little girl. She wasn't raised right. Uh, it's a parents' issue. Yeah, they, they yeah. Have, as soon as she, mm. they, I like, as soon as she saw, they saw that she was gonna be a problem. They should have restricted her more. They shouldn't have let her just run off on her own. They should have just kept her in a room or something like that until she learned right. Yeah. One of the biggest things I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so these creatures have obviously been on the planet for a long time. I'm sure the military has been trying to take them out. Why has nobody figured out to shoot them when their face is open while they're trying to listen? I, was, I, would, I would probably give this movie... I'd probably give it maybe about a seven because it was potentially very good, but it was a lot of dumb things that they that they didn't think about when he was writing and when he was directing. But um, it was good. The acting was very good. Um, special effects were very well done. But the main thing that disturbed me about this movie was the ending because I felt like <laughs> what happened at the ending. I don't want to spoil it for anyone you know who hadn't seen it, but I felt like what happened at the end was totally, totally, I, I don't know what you want to call that. It was just like, it was a real letdown because finally, you know, we see some hope. We see some hope. Um, and what I like to say, they was getting a little get back. What I call, you know, people mess with you, you get them back. They was getting a little get back. Like James Brown said, you know, get it back. But <laughs> time for some get back. Get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as things start looking better, they they figured out how to deal with the situation, and it looked like they about to take care of some business. If you know what I'm saying, they about oh, to really, yeah. you know, strike back at the enemy, if you would. But soon as soon as as soon as that happens, they roll credit. <laughs> so I was um, I was astounded by the inconsideration of the ending. I think, I think that. Instead of it being a movie, it should have been like a pilot to a series. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what they're going yeah, for. I don't that'd know. Be a, that'd be a great TV series. Maybe they yeah. thought that was a cliffhanger. Yeah, maybe. I I, I thought yeah. it was a a piss hanger. I think it yeah. was like pissing you off because yeah, I, yeah, it's like I wouldn't do that to my audience. 
I think it showed too much to be a cliffhanger, but not enough to be a full movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one that heard when I said that I was like, um, little when the girl, the little brat about the croak. Yeah. See, when Pac Man was saying that the acting was good. See, that's why you know the acting is really good when you actually feel that from somebody actually doing the wrong thing. Like she acted, she played character like she made you hate her because of the way she was acting. Yeah. The mother with the chick that played the mother, she played, you looked at her as a weak person because when, when the, um, when the first boy got killed, when the little boy got killed, you know, she would, when the, when the creature was coming to take him out, she was closer to the boy than the father was. So the father was at the, be at the, at the beginning of the pack. He was at the leader of the pack of the lines. And then she was like closer to the um, boy than the father was, but she just stood there and put her mouth and started crying while the dad tried to run and get it, get him. Mm. But he wasn't fast enough. But if the mother was to actually stop being weak, she would have been poss possibly she'd have been able to actually get the little boy before the monster would have. And the little other little boy, he was he played a good character too because he was also playing like a little weak boy too. But you kind of understand that because he's a little boy. He's not like, I don't even think he's a teenager. You know, I guess he got that from his mom's side. But um, the father, he was actually playing like a semi pro like um a strong role model a strong role model and stuff like that for the fam family he's been a protector and stuff now the little brat girl she looked like she would have the potential to be like a father but if she was such a brat that that's why nobody really wouldn't pay her no attention everybody just like didn't like her but like 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 was said the, the characters the people that played the characters was great with it but it is a lot of problem with the, um, how they wrote the script. Like like mm -hmm. we were saying earlier, when the guy, how the baby get the, um, the oxygen mask off his face and move the lid off the cradle. cradle. Yeah. I mean, the, the baby got some superpower we don't know about. I don't know. Maybe maybe when they, you know, when they was making cuts, they, uh, they cut it like that and they felt like it would be all right. Uh -huh. But um, no, nah, I think that was way too... Um, inconsiderate of a cut i think it was it think it was too abrupt yeah i think it was crazy but um i mean that that, that little girl you're right i mean in in a way to me she was the real antagonist of the entire thing because <laughs> she was pissing me off <laughs> for real i'm like is they gonna be all right with this little winch are they gonna live through this because of this little winch mm -hmm. i mean she was how many people did she kill she killed she, a little boy and her dad and she got a dad, dad killed yeah. They don't show how many she done killed before the movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she probably killed a whole bunch of people. She almost got the whole family killed. She almost killed her mom and her new little brother because she did to do that about her mom and her little brother. Yeah. Let, let, let there be a lesson to, to you. <laughs> selfish people get you killed. So if you're selfish, you're going to end up being a murderer at some point, just being that inconsiderate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but I'm saying that little girl, though, she was like, she was a villain. She's a little villain. A little deaf villain. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that's about all I have to say about the movie. If something else come up, it'll be a part two. If something else come up about this. But um, if anyone else in the moon pack like to lay it down, say something before we get off this, feel free. Nah, I think I'm good. Um, You know, the show Brown Moon Pack representing that was uh, a quiet place. Uh, I give it about a seven. The ending was inconsiderate. Um, that's, yeah, that's that's me. Well, I'm pretty much good. You know, this is Ninja Kage here, and I'm just saying they weren't ninjas, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> oh hell no, they definitely weren't ninjas. Nah. <laughs> I think in the time that they should have, they they should they've been around for. They definitely should have picked up on more. I mean, they they had a lot of potential for this movie, but they could have explored a lot more areas too. Yeah. 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 True. 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 That. Definitely. Is right. Yeah.
That about be a wrap. This is Fin Red Moon out with the Moon Pack. We about to hit it up. We'll hit y'all later with another discussion video with Fin Red Moon in the Moon Pack. Yay! Please hit that subscribe button, that notification button, that like button, and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video today. Yeah!